We worship you, our Lord. You're worthy to be praised. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You're worthy to be praised. Come on and join me. We give you all the glory. We worship you, our Lord. You're worthy to be praised. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory. We worship you, our Lord. You're worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. We give you all the glory. Sunday morning worship. We're here in Beaumont, Texas, and this is our intercessory prayer. We begin worship every Sunday and Wednesday and any other service day 
with intercessory prayer, for the Bible teaches us that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Amen. And the Lord Jesus says that his house should be called a house of prayer. So it's kind of hard for us to call ourselves children of the heavenly king and not begin to worship with prayer. That we are praying this morning, interceding, fighting the devil. Amen. The enemy, coronavirus, disease, COVID-19. And we've been praying these prayers since it hit this country. Didn't know much about it before it hit this country, but since it hit this country, we've learned a lot. Amen. And we've lost a lot. My Lord. But we continue to fight because the fight is still on. Yes, yes. And I want to encourage you today that the faith fight is a good fight. It's a good fight because it's a fight that we win. That we do not go it alone. The Lord Jesus taught us through the Bible that he would never leave us nor forsake us. So we can boldly say the Lord is our helper. We should not fear what man should do to us. And we pray in spiritual warfare because we are taught to fight the devil. Amen. We're not ignorant of the wiles of the devil. Amen. And no child of God should be ignorant of the wiles of the devil. If he has no new tricks, and he's trying to use this disease to destroy the people of God. My Lord. And I want you to be encouraged today that you don't have to fear. But that's what the Lord taught us. It's in the Bible over and over again. Fear not. Yes. And why should we not fear? Well, we should not fear because the Lord is with us. He didn't say stay out of frightening situations. He said fear not. That when we find ourselves in frightening situations, we can choose not to fear because we are aware that the Lord is with us. Amen. Thank he you. who is with us, he goes before us. He's fighting for us. Yes. And nothing, nothing can stop us now. Amen. Hallelujah, Hallelujah to the Christ. So I want to lead you in these prayers today. If you who are at home, members of our church, you know this is our regular intercessory prayer and I want to thank you for joining the day by video conference on the parking lot. Thank you for your faithfulness. Amen. I thank God for you every day and every time I think about you. Amen. I appreciate your being faithful in the things of God. Yes. But this is the year of revival and miracles. Revival comes first. Yes. Then miracles. And miracles always come as a result of some difficulty in the earth. That's what God taught me. So he taught us how to navigate. Hallelujah. Thank and we Lord. began this morning's worship with prayer. I would ask you to repeat these prayers after me. Thank you, Holy Father, Thank you, Holy Father for your mighty power that's able to heal all sickness and disease. We bless your holy name, Jehovah. We bless your holy name, Jehovah. For you are the Lord our God who heals us. Heavenly Father. Let the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ be transfused into our blood vessels. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command every agent of coronavirus disease in animals, on humans, in the air, on surfaces, you must die. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the blood of humankind Reject every evil foreign germ in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, speak deliverance and healing into our lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ cleanse this world of COVID-19 disease. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We hold the blood of Jesus Christ against coronavirus. You must dry up now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O Lord, let your healing hand be stretched out upon the lives of those infected with COVID-19 disease. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O Lord, let your miracle hand be stretched out 
upon the lives of those infected with COVID-19 disease. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O Lord, let your deliverance hand be stretched out. On the bodies of those who are carrying the germ of COVID-19 disease. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We reject every encounter with the spirit of death. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We rebuke every region in this world that harbors coronavirus disease. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We destroy the grip and the operation. We destroy the grip and the operation. Of coronavirus disease on our lives. Coronavirus disease on our lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every demon destined for hell. Every demon destined for hell. Attached to our family name. Attached to our family name. And every spirit behind the name. And every spirit behind the name. Hear the word of God. Hear the word of God. At the name of Jesus Christ. Every knee must bow. Every knee must bow. Therefore, we command you, spirits. Therefore, we command you, spirits. Glaucoma, glaucoma migraine, headaches, migraine headaches, brain tumors, brain tumors tinnitus, tinnitus, arthritis, arthritis, arthritis sugar diabetes, sugar diabetes, diabetes spinal, stenosis, spinal stenosis, sciatic nerve issues, sciatic nerve issues lymphedema, lymphedema, hypertension, hypertension heart, disease, heart disease, emphysema, emphysema hiatal hernia. hernia Sinusitis, sinusitis, pneumonia, pneumonia respiratory, issues, respiratory issues, kidney disease, kidney disease obesity, obesity, digestive disease, disease acid reflux, acid frozen, shoulder, frozen shoulder, gout, gout vertigo, vertigo, fibroid tumors, fibroid tumors cancer, cancer, paralysis, paralysis and especially COVID-19 disease, COVID disease. In, our lives, in our lives and in our family's lives, our family's you must buy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Heavenly Christ. Father, Heavenly Father, let the whirlwind of God, let the whirlwind of God scatter every vessel scatter every of infirmity fashioned against our lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, let every germ of infirmity in our bodies to die. Let every germ of infirmity in our bodies die. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, let every agent of sickness, let every agent of sickness working against our health, working against our health disappear, disappear in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Fountain of discomfort, Fountain of discomfort in, our lives, in our lives, dry up now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every internal disorder, every internal disorder receive, order, receive order in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. O Lord, let the blood of Jesus Christ flush out every evil deposit from our blood. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, let the fire of revival fall upon the United States of America. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, arise. Give us God-fearing leaders. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the power and peace and progress overshadow our nation in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your divine presence in our lives. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We want to pray now for our finances. Well, we pray for finances because this pandemic has caused issues in family finances. And God's able to flow finances to you because he is our source. Your job is a resource. It's not your source. God is your source. And God has a way of overruling matters. He has a way of canceling debt. He has a way of reducing debt. He has a way of increasing finances. He will cause you to triumph. Amen. Amen. Now, repeat it after me. Oh, Spirit of God, oh, Spirit of God 
cover over my finances and speak light and life to them. Oh God, and graft me into your tree of abundance. Oh God, and graft me into your tree of abundance. Oh God, cause your face to shine brightly upon us. Oh God, cause your face to shine brightly upon us. Lord Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, plant us in your financial Eden. Plant us in your financial Eden. Oh Lord, oh Lord, cause all our allies to find us. Cause all our allies to find us. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Creator of heaven and earth. Reveal to us the hidden treasure that you have for us and bring us to them. Wisdom of heaven, come to us for our finances. Every, every good financial seed that we planted, lying dormant in the soil, water find you, light find you, sprout and bring forth abundant fruit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, wisdom of Solomon. Oh, wisdom of Solomon. Come, to us come to us for our finances. For our finances. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Money and favor find us now. Money and favor find us now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord. Guide us to our financial wells. Guide us to our financial wells. In Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus Christ's name. Oh God who sees. Oh God who sees. Cause the waters of abundance to flow to us. Cause the waters of abundance to flow to us. And our households. And our households. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Let the anointing of a Joseph. Let the anointing of Joseph. Abound in our lives. Abound in our lives. We're tithers and givers. We're tithers and givers. Therefore, windows of heaven, Therefore, windows of heaven. Be, open and pour out all our be open and pour out all our blessings to us, to us. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us find the palm tree. Let us find the palm tree. In every desert in our finances. In every desert in our finances. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every wall of Jericho in our finances. Every wall of Jericho in our finances. Collapse now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every wall of Jericho and our finances. Every wall of Jericho and our finances. Collapse now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Collapse now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every wall of Jericho and our finances. Every wall of Jericho and our finances. Collapse now. Collapse now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, bless us. Oh Lord, bless us. In the land of our affliction. In the land of our affliction. With abundance. Let the creative ideas that you give to us make us rich and further the kingdom of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Liberality and generosity are our portion in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, finally, we want to pray these prayers for correction in our finances. Amen. Repeat it after me, please. Tree of life be resurrected in my life. 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 Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Make the dry places fertile in my finances. Make the dry places fertile in my finances. O oh Lord, oh Lord, unlock all the padlocks on my treasure chest. Unlock all the padlocks on my treasure chest. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rebuke the devourer in our finances. Rebuke the devourer in our finances. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Every diversion of our financial blessings. Every diversion of our financial blessings. Away from us. Away from us. O oh Lord, reverse the diversion. Oh Lord. And cause the finances to flow to us now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, oh God. Make the crooked way straight in our finances. Make the crooked way straight in our finances. Every fight for our finances in the spirit realm. Every fight for our finances in the spirit realm. Be one in our favor. Be one in our favor. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ground that was iron. The sky that was brass in our finances. The sky that was brass in our finances. Turn to fertile soil. Turn to fertile soil. And abundant rain in our finances. And abundant rain in our finances. 
In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Let our seeds always find good soil. Let our seeds always find good soil. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, defend my finances. Oh God, defend my finances. In Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus Christ's name. Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ. Prepare every busted gate in my finances. Every lock on my finances does not have a key. Every lock on my finances that does not have a key. I knock you loose. I knock you loose. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every financial bully. Every financial bully. Be flipped on your head. Be flipped on your head. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh tears among my harvest. Oh tears among my harvest. Burn yourself up. Burn yourself up. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All treasure chests. With my name on them, my name on find, them. Me now. find me now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, God, oh God, show me as you show Jacob, show me as you show Jacob. How, to make strong how to make strong what's weak in my finances. What's weak in my finances. Oh, God, oh God, for every Goliath that I've killed, cause me to be paid fairly. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Key of David, Key of David. Come, to me. come to me and unlock every door closed against me. And unlock every door closed against me. Oh God of more than enough. Oh God of more than enough. Bring the finances. Bring the finances. From the prison to the palace. From the prison to the palace. Just as you did for Joseph. Just as you did for Joseph. Oh God. Oh God. I honor you. I honor you. With my money all the days of my life. With my money all the days of my life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every Haman type spirit in my finances, hang yourself in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Spirit of mammon, I'm not your dwelling place. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh God, open your good treasures unto me now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May my treasure. And my, and my heart remain with you, remain with you regardless of my financial status. Of my financial thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. You that are viewing us by Facebook and on YouTube, if you desire a copy of these prayers that we pray, and we'll be praying these prayers, until this pandemic is ended. Amen, amen. Not until the president opens the nation. We will continue to pray them until amen. this pandemic is destroyed. Yes, Lord. If you desire a copy of these prayers that you may pray along with us and that you may pray in your private prayer time, all you have to do is simply request it on Facebook. Just say, I want the prayers on uh, YouTube. Just in the comment section, uh, just say, I want, I want a copy of these prayers. And we will send them to you. Of course, you will have to provide us an email address or a physical address where we can send them to you. On Facebook, we can message you. That's not an issue. If you uh, uh, just like our page on Facebook, and we would also request, if you would please, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. I want to take advantage of this opportunity to wish every mother a happy Mother's Day. Amen, amen. I think it's a wonderful thing that the President of the United States years ago designated a day where we would honor mothers. Of course, you know, you don't honor your mother just one day a year. Amen. But since it's a special day, I was, you know, when I was young and foolish, I say, there's no man tell me, you know, what I need to do on a holiday. But that was just young and foolishness. Amen. Every mother deserves whatever accolades, whatever gifts, whatever joy you can bring to our heart. But my God, what they go through for us. Amen. Thinking Amen. about my sainted mother Amen. this morning. She's been with the Lord since 1994. Lord, she doted on her children. Amen. And I, I love my mother. I love her today because I can't do anything else with that love because it's for her. Yeah. She was a sweet mother to us. She loved her children. That she would she make special things for us. We had dessert every day, so you had to be creative in those days to have dessert every day. 
And then when I, when I was six, she would let me eat anything I wanted to. She let me have Cheerios for dinner. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I thank God for my mother, Sister Amen. Annabelle Sampson, a blessing in our lives. And man, she uh, mothered six children. And uh, four of us are still alive. Amen. Frank William went to be with the Lord as a child. And my older brother, H.B., is with the Lord. My brother Asa is in Houston preaching this morning. My brother F.D. is in Houston. My sister is there in Houston. We all thank God for our mother. Amen. And I want to encourage you. If you haven't got something for your mother, get out of there and go get something. Amen. Well, I don't have much money. That's all right. Call her. Amen. Amen. Go by and wave. Do something. Amen. Get off of what you're doing and get it done. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And you don't have to have children to be a, to have to birth children to, to be a mother. And I thank God for those mothers who uh, have the compassion to mother children that they did not birth. Amen. God bless you today. Amen. And we wish you a special Happy Mother's Day because you've gone out of your way. Amen. You know, that the, the children that you have, you're kind of stuck with them, you know, for the most part, for most of us. But to be chosen... To be adopted by a father. Oh my God. Amen. How wonderful it is. And how blessed are you today. Amen. So I want to encourage you to be a blessing to your mother today. Amen. Your grandmother. Your grandmother living. I'm going to tell you something. If your mother's living, you are blessed Amen. beyond measure. I don't care how old you are. Amen. Because men lose their mothers in childbirth. Yeah. Some are alive that never got to know who their mothers were. Amen. So if your mother's alive, you are blessed beyond measure. And I think you ought to show God thanks for your mother. Amen. Yes, it's on a Sunday and it's the Lord's day. And you want to talk trash about that? I talk trash right back to you, nut. Give God praise for your mother. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be quiet now before I say something ugly. Amen. Okay. <laughs> God bless us today. I want us to sing together this morning. Uh, how about since I met Jesus? Amen. Since I met Jesus, man, Amen. life has been totally different. Hallelujah. I thank the Lord I met him. This is an old song. I hope you know it. You know it. I ask you to sing along with us. I hope it's your key, too. Amen. It's really not mine, but it's okay. <laughs> I can still sing it. Amen. Amen. Since I met Jesus, life has been totally different. That's coming you disconsolate. Amen. That's a good one, too. That's out of my childhood. Since I met Jesus a little older. Yes. Hallelujah. Makes me want to run on, shout. 
hallelujah, right to the end. For his yoke is easy, his yoke is easy, and his burdens, his burdens are light. Walk where he leads me. I know I'll always, always be right. And if I cherish, cherish the race that I'm running, running with haste, and my God's grace, I know I'll make it. Come on, sing it with me. Come on. For his yoke is easy. His yoke is easy. And his burdens, burdens are light. If I walk, walk where he leads me, I know I'll always, always be and if I cherish, cherish the race that I'm running, running with haste, and by God's grace, I know I'll make it, by God's grace. to present to you, pastor of this church, pastor of the Golden Triangle Christian Fellowship Church, my only begotten son, in whom I'm well pleased, Pastor R.I. Samson, Jr. Amen, amen. Hear him. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much, Dad. Amen. Grateful to God for this opportunity. Do it right quick for me. Look at the neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Look at another neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. One more person you haven't looked at yet. Show me twos, fours, sixes, eight, ten, twelves. You paid for them. You did pay for them. And say, neighbor. Neighbor. It's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Hey, Master Will of God, you be encouraged on this morning. I greet you this morning in the name and in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is our God. And through him we do battle. This is the day the Lord has made. I do rejoice, and I am glad in it. How about you? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, sir. I like to begin by yes, saying sir. Happy Mother's Day. Amen. 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 To all the moms, the mothers, mommas, the dears, and dears all <laughs> over the world. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And Happy Mother's Day, especially to our dear sweet mother, uh, the late Sister Linda M. Sampson. Amen. 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 Uh, impacted by her life even to this day. Amen. Amen. I had the opportunity to go by memory, go down memory lane and do something uh, the other night that she and I used to do together oh, wow. uh, while I was in college. And you'll give me this time of personal, personal reference here. Uh, there was some snails or some slugs there on the patio. So I hurried up and ran in the house and I grabbed some salt <laughs> and poured it on the slugs. Amen. That's something that me and my mom used to do. Oh. Amen. Together. See, <laughs> see him outside. She here, but run up and out. Come here, come here. <laughs> and that's something we would do. Amen. Together. Amen. 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 I said all that to say this. Amen. Mothers, you never know the impact that you have on your children. Amen. Uh, and you never know what we're going to remember. Amen. Amen. So your time, your effort, your care, your nurturing, your love Amen. Uh, never goes unnoticed or unwanted. My Amen. God. And there are some things that you don't appreciate until you have lost them. My Lord. So I try to My encourage Lord. as many people as I can, especially young people, uh -huh. to be good to the people that are in your life while you have them. Yes. Amen. Especially your mama. 
Amen. Amen. We're Amen. very pro family here at the fellowship, and we don't uh, make it any secret. Amen. Amen. How we feel about family and how we feel about mamas and daddies. Amen. Uh, Amen. Both being equally important. Amen. Amen. But we are especially uh, honoring the mothers on today, and we thank you. Amen. For your over in the midnight prayers. Oh, yeah. Amen. Some of y'all know what I'm yeah. talking about. Oh, yeah. and, and, and some of y'all need to get back to that. Oh, Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 Because we stray away from anything. That's why our uh -huh. children are having some of the issues that they're having because uh -huh. there's no one fighting the devil yeah. on their behalf. Amen. Amen. It's just the mm -hmm. truth. It's not a condemnation. It's just something you just forget and you just don't think are necessary. Talk fast. And it just talk. goes away from you. Yes. Amen. That's why God gives us preachers and teachers to remind us of such and type of thing that we should be doing. Amen. So we honor you on today. Amen. Pastor's already exhorted us on this morning. If your mom is here, make your way to a call and do Amen. something for her. Amen. To let them know. Because even uh, where I serve, I tell the children, I say, look, every Friday I tell them, I say, do something to help your mother. Amen. Amen. And it's important uh, that you do so. But why is it important that you do so? Because even Jesus the Christ in his death he remembered yes. that he had a mama. I mean, he was dying, excuse me. He remembered that he had a mama that was still going to be here on earth. And he made sure that she was taken care of. Amen. Now, we don't know what happened to Joseph. You know, the uh, second history part of the Bible said that he died in Jesus' early life or whatever. And all that's well and good. But he still made sure his mom was taken care of. So I want to encourage you today to honor your father and your mother that your days may be long on the earth. Amen. This is how I like to say, mamas ain't perfect and children sure ain't either. All right now. Amen. Call, call. Amen. You know, they, they, they figured it out when they raise us. You, you get older and you understand that. You know, that they dealing with their own things that they're dealing with as we grow up and dealing with your stuff too. Yes. Amen. And it ain't easy. Mm -hmm. Amen. You've had children, now you understand more and more and more and more. Amen. Amen. So we thank God. Amen. And you just ought to be glad. This is what I like to say, Pastor. Y'all, pardon me. You wow. ought to be glad that you even have a mom. Amen. Amen. Some Amen. people never even knew their mom. Amen. Amen. A, a mom Amen. died in their infancy. Died when they were small children. They had no recollection of the mom at all. Amen. So we consider ourselves, amen, to be blessed. Yes. Amen. And may your children rise up and call you blessed. Uh, all to all the moms and all the mothers there. Amen. 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 Actually, please turn into your Bibles to the book of Genesis, chapter 21, verses 9 through 21. Genesis, chapter 21, verses 9 through 21. Yes, sir, the book of Genesis. That's the first book in the Bible. I want to encourage you, if you have your Bible, get your Bible. If you don't have a physical Bible, if you have one on your, your phone or your tablet or your desktop, Turn there because this is where the power is. The power is in the word of God. Amen? Amen. amen. So I want to encourage you, amen, to turn there with us as we find in Genesis chapter 21, verses 9 through 21. And this will serve as our foundation text, which is the text that we'll build the message upon for today from the Lord. And as you'll find it, I pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, God in heaven, we thank you, O oh God, for this time of fellowship in around your word. God, I thank you for these, your people who are listening or viewing us uh, through the World Wide Web on Facebook and through the conference call. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your peace. We thank you for your guidance. We thank you for your love. We thank you for this day. Now, God, I ask you to take that myself and be less of me and more of you. Less of me and more of you. Less of me to all of you and none of me. Not unto my name, but unto your name, O God, be all honor, glory, majesty, dominion, and the power. Glory. God, I thank you this morning for boldness and accurate articulation of speech. I thank you for perfect utterance. I thank you, O oh God, that no sinners on my own is to use, nothing other than what the Spirit of God would dictate. I thank you for bringing back to my memory those things you taught me, what I've learned from you, and with yes, you, what you taught yes. me from experience and or from observation or conversation. Heavenly Father, answer our questions on this morning. Take yes, our hearts Lord. to stone and give us hearts to flesh. Give us a new perspective, a new outlook, a new uh, vantage point. Allow us to see ourselves, our conditions, our circumstances, our scenarios, and being victorious. In the blood of your Son, Jesus, O oh God, build us up. We need to be built up. Tear down, we need to be torn down, oh God. Restore unto us the joy of our salvation, oh God. Be our sword, shield, and buckle on this morning, and be with us in these moments. And God, we thank for every person that gets saved, set free, spirit for healed, delivered, and is added unto this your church, Golden Triangle Christian Fellowship Church of Beaumont, Texas. Yes. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord. I will agree with that prayer. I say amen. 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 
Genesis 21, verses 9 through 21, reading to you from the King James Version of the Bible. I encourage people, get you a version that you can understand. Amen. Amen. Because you need to be able to understand what you're reading. If the these and thou's throw you off, get one that you understand. Amen? Amen. So let's read it. And Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, mm. which she had born unto Abraham, mocking. So, uh, black Abraham had this child named Ishmael with Hagar, who was uh, Sarah's handmaid, a slave, if you will. Mm -hmm. And she sees him mocking little Isaac, because Isaac is a mere child. He's just getting weaned, and that could be anywhere from two to seven years old, depending on what culture you're in. But he still was a child. And Sarah does not like what she's seen. All right, now. And I want to tell you something, child of God. And I borrowed this page from Pastor Lindsay. Pastor Lindsay's book, my sister's book. She said, if you get a miracle baby, mm. they come with special instructions. All right, all right. You, you cannot raise them and treat them regular. Uh, you, you have to cover them with believing prayer and make sure that they are exposed to God and church and the things of God. I know these things are not really popular to do uh, in these days and time, but it's still the truth. Mm -hmm. Amen. That a miracle, and, that, and this goes for any miracle that you see, whether it be in your okay. body or your finances, a loved one, relationship, a miracle child, the miracle has to be protected. Amen. And, and, and I want to stress that to you this morning before I go in and further that the miracle has to be for Wherefore she said unto Abraham, cast out this bum woman or son. Get this woman and her napping headed child out of my house. All right, all right. <laughs> Trying to give it to you 2020 version Amen. so you don't get lost. It say, for the son of this bum woman will not be heir with my son, even with Isaac. Yeah. In other words, he don't have no part here. And saying the thing was very grievous in Abraham's sight because of his son. Now, Abraham loved his man. He got a relationship with the boy. Yeah. And, 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 and Abraham, Abraham, excuse me, not Abraham, his name hasn't been changed to the father of men at this particular point. And, he, and Abraham gets sad. Yeah, all right. Because he, he doesn't want to have to let his son go. And God said unto Abraham, let it not be grievous in your sight because of the lad or because of the boy and because of the bond woman. Anytime you say that word bond woman, it also means slave as well. Okay, now slave, and, and, and let me say this here, and I'm, I'm gonna try to say this path and move on, and, and not go into a deep, uh, a long uh, set of sentences and paragraphs about this. <laughs> Don't let anyone fool you and tell you that slavery in the Bible is like the slavery that was here in America. All right. If you read the um, the first five books of the Bible, you look at the different laws and things, you see where you were able to opt out of slavery. Yep. You can buy your way out of slavery. Right. And you just couldn't be made a slave just because. Right. Amen. So 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 don't don't fall for the game and don't Amen. fall for the okie doke. Study history. The Bible says, give yourself unto read. Amen. Which means study and read for yourself. Right. All right. So let's read on. And God said, Abraham, let the thing not be grievous in your sight because of the lad and because of the bone woman. And all that Sarah has said unto you, hearken unto her, or listen to her, for in Isaac will your seed be called. In other words, Ishmael was not the child of promise. Right. Okay? Now, 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 to be for sure, Sarah played her part in this. All right. Yeah, yes, yeah, because she gave, you know, Abraham. Hey, God, he gave her. She gave her to him saying, well, this is a good idea. I can have no children so she could mm -hmm. have children, you know, surrogately. So surrogate mothers are nothing new. Uh, right. Have a baby, you know, surrogate mother here, and she can have a baby for her. And she can raise it on, it would be her seed, but it makes problems for them both. Amen. And they say, for your seed be called, and also of the son of the bond one will make a nation because he is your seed. All right. Now, now this got my attention, is that Ishmael was not a part of the promise. Right. He does not have a covenant, but because of the affection and the affinity and the relationship that God had with Abraham, God say, I'm going to make him a great nation too. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Even though he's a product of something y'all made, All right. <laughs> All right. I'm still going to bless it. All right. 
Say that again. Even though it's a product of something y'all made, I wasn't in that. That, that wasn't really what I really wanted to happen to go down. But say, I'm a, and I will. In other words, it may not have been God's original intent. I don't know. But he said, and I will make of him a great nation because he is your seed, because he is your son. Yes. Right. I'm going to treat him special too. Yeah. But the scripture takes a turn here. Look at this in verse 14. It says, Abraham rose up early in the morning and took bread and a bottle of water and gave it on the head guard, putting it on the shoulder and the child and sent her away. And she departed and wandered in the wilderness of Beersheba. Mm. And the water was spent in the bottle and she cast the child under one of the shrubs. So, so the water ran out and she threw her child away. Yeah. yeah. That's what they say right there. That, 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 that's in the text. So she, she, she threw him under one of the shrubs. You know the shrub is that's a short bush. Yeah. Because she, she she doesn't know what else to do. She's basically, if you allow me to say it like this, she's basically in the woods. Uh, 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 she's in the wilderness going in circles, and she has no idea of where she's going or what she's doing. Oh, right. my Lord. And, and, and the water runs out. I guess the bread is already gone. She can't stand to see her child die. She just said, so I'm going to put him, I'm going to throw him under this shrub right here, and I'm going to go over here as far as I can, but I cannot stand to see the child die. And she went and said, down over against a good way off, it was as if it were a bow shot. That means about as far as you can shoot an arrow from a bow and arrow, you know, from a, uh, yeah. from a bow. But she said, let me not see the death of the child. And she said over against him and lift up her voice and wept. So she got sad and she started crying. Mm. Now watch this verse 17, though. And God heard the voice of the lad. Mm. <laughs> all right, all right. Wow. Okay, okay. That, 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 that. And God heard the voice of the lamb. Yeah. And the angel of God called to Hagar out of heaven and said unto her, What ails you? Hagar, God, what's the problem? Yes. yes. Don't be afraid, for God has heard the voice of the lamb where he is. Arise, lift up the lamb, and hold him in your hand, for I will make him a great nation. Mm. Now, what I got know. my attention in that particular set of verses is that. You know, she throws the baby away. She goes and cries, but God hears the voice of the child. Child, yes, yes. God hears the voice of the child and starts talking to the mama. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. My Lord. Say it again, Reverend. Say that again, Reverend. Say that again. Say, God heard the voice of the child, but he talks to the mama. Mm. <laughs> Arise, lift up the lad and, and hold him in your hand, for I will make him a great nation. And God opened her eyes. And see, that, that's what we need God to do with many of us this morning is to open our yes, eyes yes. to see what he has already provided yes. in front of us. Thank you, Lord. And she yes. saw a well of water. Mm. Uh -huh. Okay, 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 okay. Now, see, mm -hmm. you want to say, well, God, does, God ain't dug no well. Nope. The well was already there. Already. The well had been there all along. My say that again, Robert. The well had been there all along. The book just said God opened her eyes. But why did God have to open her eyes, Pastor? Because she was so depressed and downtrodden and thought she was at her end. Yes. Right. But yes. thanks be to God, when we run out yes, sir. of natural resources, when we run out <laughs> of natural sustenance, yes. God still has a way of opening our eyes and showing us where he has made provision for us. That's why you hear you see old people say he'll make a way out of no way. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, say he's a he's a rock in a weary land. See, we understand a rock in a weary land because it, 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 that rock in a weary land, Pastor, it ain't just one to lean on. Yes, right, right, right. It's also one that you can sit in the shade yeah. when it's hot in the middle of the day for long, about 12, 3 o'clock when the sun is at its highest point. So. When it's talking about that he'll be a rock in the weary land, he'll be one you can lean on, or he'll also be the one that'll cool y'all when things get too hot. Glory yeah, to God. Thank All you, right. Lord. Right. Thank you, Lord. He's saying God was with the lad. And see, I'm sorry, she filled the bottle. And she went and filled the bottle with water and gave the lad drink. And God was with the lad. And he grew. Mm. So the child ain't died. My Lord. Even though she had gave up on the child, even though these were not the best of conditions, even though these were not the best of terms, God still made a way for the child to be able to grow up and reach adulthood. Yes, Lord. Right. And saying God was with the lad. Oh, God showed up in his life. Mm. 
Even though he was not the Lord's anointed, even though he was not the Lord's chosen, even though he didn't go up in the prophet Abraham's house, All right. just because you did not grow up in church does not mean that God will not be with you. Right. Just because your parents did not know God does not mean that God will not be with you. Just yeah. because your parents did not go to church or don't know God does not mean that God will not be with you. Just because your parents or guardians threw you away or died does not mean that God will leave you too. But yes, yeah, said, I will never leave you. Yes, Lord, sir. forsake you, sir. You can boldly say the Lord is, not was, is. That means constantly, ongoingly, my helper. I will not fear what a man or a woman will do unto me. He's saying he dwelt or lived in the wilderness of Paran. And his mother took him away out of the land of Egypt. Mm. This morning I want to talk about a message to the mothers. All yes, right. Lord. And the objective is to tell you that regardless of your circumstances, regardless of your being destitute, that God will provide. Yes, he will. All yes, right. he will. Say that again. God will. Yes, he will. Provide. Now, Hagar's situation is, is unique, but it kind of reminds me of what many go through, many of us are going through this day. There are injustices all over the land. Our people are being hunted and killed My Lord. for no reason. Right, hunted and killed. Judge and jury right down the street. My Lord. Just because of the color of our skin and, and, and you presuppose, or you lie, should I say. That, that you think that we did something that we have not done just to fulfill some fetish. Yes. yes. Some right. evil satanic desire that you may have. Yes. And mother, you may wonder, you say, well, well I, I just don't know what I need to do for my child. Yes, you do. You need to always cover your child with believing prayer. Yes. yes. Covering right. them with the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Why? Because we can't go everywhere with them. Amen. All right. We cannot be everywhere present because Amen. one day if the Lord tarries, we're going to have your party. We're going to have your freedom. We're going to roll you. Yes. Yeah. And your child is going to have to be able to function yes, sir. without you. Yes, sir. So the question is this morning, what are you giving your child oh, Lord. to help them to make it when you go. My Lord. And you don't have to leave here for you to be gone. All right. I've Amen. lived long enough Amen. to see it happen where you're still here in the earth, but you can't do anything. You don't even yeah. know who you are. You don't know yeah. where you are. You, 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 you can't feed yourself. You can't get yourself out of bed. You can't lift yourself up. you just here. And not even in a vegetable state. you just here. you just basically a baby all over again, but you're a full-grown elderly person, and you can't do nothing. Oh, yeah. Lord Jesus. Yeah. I want to recommend to you that you make sure that your people, your children, that they know Jesus the Christ for themselves. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. That, that, that they hear you pray sometimes. That they yes, see sir. you reading your Bible sometimes. That they hear you talking about God at least every now and again. That they see you trying to live yes, for Jesus. Yes, yeah. sir. Because you do them a cruel disservice. If you make them think that you are the God in their life, mm. if you make them think that you are their source, when you, at best, even how great and awesome you are, you are still just a resource. Oh, yes. preach, Pastor. You, preach. you are just a funnel. You are just a pipe. You're just a conduit. You're just a bucket. You're just a vessel. You're just a river. But God is the one that yes, sir. bless him for all the good things come of thee. Oh, God. But she finds, this Hagar, she finds herself in a place that she did not put herself in. Yeah. yeah. She did not create this madness, if you will, this morning that she found herself in. Help me, Holy Ghost, while I talk. Say hallelujah where you are. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. That opens your spirit. Yes, because it's not a message of condemnation. She, she, she did not put herself in this. Man. She was given to him to have a baby that maybe she not even want to have to have. My Lord. And her mouth, if you read her a couple chapters over, you'll see what her mouth got her in trouble with Sarah early on. Mm -hmm. yeah. When she saw that she was pregnant and Sarah couldn't get pregnant, yeah. she started to talk and, and, and give Sarah a hard time. 
And Sarah goes to Abraham. Abraham say, do whatever you feel like you need to do with her. Mm -hmm. And it got too rough for her, and she leaves the house. All right yeah. now. And God tell her, say, humble yourself, girl. Go home. <laughs> And everything gonna be okay. So she goes back to the house and everything works out. But here it comes, low these many years, the same thing slows up in Ishmael. My yeah. Lord. Yeah. This is what I was taught. Everything reproduces oh, after yeah. its own kind. Yeah. Pit bulls have pit bulls, yeah. cats have kittens. Hogs have peas, gorillas have gorillas, peaches make peaches, apples make apples, grapes make grapes, parakeets oh, make parakeets, parrots make parrots. In the words of the late Malcolm X, having kittens in an oven don't make them biscuits. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Just because you change your location, you take yourself yeah. with you yeah. everywhere you go. That's why, mama, you able to understand a lot about your child because yeah. you know yourself if you want it. Amen. Right. Amen. So Ishmael gets them put out their house. Ishmael gets them put out their apartment. Can I say it like that? This morning? <laughs> he, he gets her and him evicted because he acting a fool. Oh, yeah. You're preaching. You're preaching. You're preaching. Yes, sir. And, and, and she's pleased. And she's she just giving some bread and some water. She didn't even give her no money. And we don't know about any job skills that a Hagar has. Mm -hmm. yeah. We don't know about her being anointed of God to do anything. We don't know about her being a good seamstress, being a good cook. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, there are some good cooks in the Bible. You know, uh, I believe that's part of the reason why Jesus here, Peter's mm -hmm. you know, mother-in-law, you know, because the pots were on. Now, you, you can mess with me if you want to. It's okay. I just say how I believe. Yeah, I just say it's yeah. in the Bible. Yeah. I just say that it's theologically sound. I say it in my thinking. I say, yeah, when you suppose, you have to you know, let it be known that you are supposed to. Because Jesus did like this. He said, you know, he get back from the grave. Do y'all have some meat up in here? Yeah. All right. All right yes, so Jesus had a healthy appetite. Yeah. Hagar finds herself wandering in the wilderness with nothing. Yes, yeah. sir. Yes, sir. And what little she had ran out. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah, you know about that, Mama. You mm -hmm. you 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 know about running out, having more month than you have more money, having mm -hmm. less food than you have mouth. Mm -hmm. You 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 know this this is not any different in today's time. My Lord, your children put you in a situation that you didn't make for yourself. They keep acting a fool, so you got to go to school behind them, and you almost about to lose your job because they don't want to get right. Yeah. And you're doing any and everything you can to help them. Yes, sir. Yeah. Let me tell you like this. Can I give you some advice? And this is right. exactly what it costs you. But it does work. Your child doing stuff, you can't get it corrected. You can't get it fixed. They still live under your roof. They mind them. Pray to God in front of them and tell yes. God on them. In All right. Them. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, oh, I guarantee you'll be in that way. Yes, or they'll run into a brick wall like they ain't never hit before. Yes, sir. No, but see, you 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 scared. Now, yeah. why would you scare them? Yeah. You you think that God don't know how to get them and fix them without breaking them where they can't be fixed? Is that the problem? Lord. The great maker and creator of the universe, the God that made the world strictly just freestyling? Well, how you know you're freestyling? And God said, let there be light. He didn't say, I got a plan. Jeremiah 29, 11 ain't exist yet. All he right. hasn't said that to no man. He just said, okay, this thing ain't right. I'm going to start over again and let there be light. And there was light. And there was light. Okay. Yes, sir. But you are the light. So why you got to say that it got to be light? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just saying. Yeah. And then he separates the darkness from the light. Mm. And you, you think God can't separate the dark from the light in your child's life? But perhaps they got all these other negative influences in their lives I don't know nothing about. Yeah, but God knows what they are. Yes, sir. And he can do more with it than you can. You're yes, right. sir. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's why the book say, lean not to your own understanding. Thank you. Why, Pastor? Because our understanding is limited at its best. Yes, sir. I don't care how many psychological books you read. I don't care how many times you read the Bible. There are still some things that happen that you cannot explain. And just because you can explain something does not mean that's necessarily the truth of how and why it occurred. Right. So he goes wandering around in this wilderness. And she runs out. And she throws her child away. Yeah. Oh my God. Not because she wanted to, All right. 
But because she ain't have nothing else that she could give him to keep him alive. Yeah. Ooh, that's rough right yes. there. That, 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 that child of God, you can reach a point yeah. where you don't know nothing else to do. Whether it's in your marriage, it's in your finance, in your relationship, yeah. it's raising children, yeah. it's in your yeah. it's in your business, it's in your home, it's in your career, it's in your job, it's in your car, and you don't have nothing else to do. And you just say, you know what? To hell with it. My oh, my Lord. Lord. My Lord. You ain't been there to keep on living. You, you, you just keep saying Good morning. When you reach the extent of your know-how, when you reach yeah. the extent of your proud life, when you pray in all the tongues you know to pray, Preach. when you fast as long as you know how to fast, and don't nothing change. Preach, Pastor. Oh yes, sir. And you know that you're going in circles, and you know that the circle is not benefiting you oh, or Lord. your situation oh, or this Lord. person or this child. Oh, Lord. So don't be too hard on hang up. Mm. Come on, man. Lord. You're Mama, don't be so hard on yourself. Yeah, yes, yeah. <laughs> Why? Because you ain't the first one Not to hit that brick wall, and you sure ain't going to be the last. Yes, sir. The Bible says she threw him <laughs> under a shrub. She, mm. A shrub? Yeah. A shrub. shrub. Yeah. Not a bush. Yeah. A, a, a shrub. Yeah. You, you know, that, that don't even grow high. It don't even grow thick. Just a shrub. Yeah. And if you know anything about things that grow in the wilderness or in the woods, if, they, if it's a whole bunch of trees, it's not going to grow that tall and full of no way. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Unless it's a bush that God has designated where it does not need a lot of light and it grows and can function in the shade, which are not a lot. So she throws them under the shade and she gets as far away from me as she can. She starts crying and weeping. My Lord, boy, if, you, if you allow me to interject right here, mm -hmm. God, I just don't know what. Oh, my God. And, and, you know, she probably ain't even say nothing, just crying. Now you just start crying and just mumbling because yeah. yeah. you're crying so hard. Yeah. Yeah. But God hears <laughs> the voice of the child even though he has been thrown away. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Even though mama didn't know what to do, even though mama was at wit's end, even though mama had done the best that she could, even though mama had done everything that she knew how to do or could think to do or, yeah. or could give to him. She didn't have anything else to give him. She didn't have anywhere to go, anybody to turn to, or any of these kind of things. But God heard from heaven. Yeah. But this boy ain't prayed a prayer. My Lord. My Lord. Yeah. Woo! Okay, yes, see, yes sir. Okay. Yes, sir. See, you, 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 you think that you got to always be able to explain to God. Mm. Yeah. What's going on? You know, on so the Bible Come said that Jesus Christ said like this. He, he was a man acquainted with grief and sorrow. And then yes. so he also had been tempted in all points like as we were. But yet still he knew no sin. But he know what it's like. Yes, yes. Sir. yes. So if God can understand a child. And we don't know what the boy said. We don't know what if he was just whimpering. Calling for his mama, yeah, calling for his daddy, or whatever, whatever he was going through, it got God's attention. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Help me, Holy Ghost, yes, while sir. I talk. That, that, that child of God, you, you cannot be discouraged just in your prayer time just because you can't always find the words. Can I say it like that? This yes, morning, that, that, that. Ooh, just that because you don't have the perfectly crafted prayer does not mean that it won't be a good prayer. Amen. Right. Let me tell you what a good prayer is. You ready for it? A good prayer is, a, is one that agree with the word of God, and that's what he go here. But Pastor, it, you know, I, I you know I've been I've been going to church long enough, and you think I baby, I'm a pastor. I've been walking with the Lord most of my life. You know what I'm saying? I knew him before I knew him. If you can understand that, and and, and been saved. Uh, let's see, uh, eighty-one. Let's say eighty-one. That's roughly thirty-nine years been saved. But can I tell you it's still something mm -hmm. that I don't know how to put in the words to God. My Lord. But thankfully that he understands. Yes. yes tell yes. you, even when my prayer does not make the grade, yes, sir. Jesus sit at the right oh, hand of the Father. Oh, in a season, I mean thank talking you. in God's ear for us. Yes. And then the Holy Ghost yes. is in front of him yes. making intercessions for us. And making groaners which cannot be mud. Thank you. Oh, 
In other words, from the mind of the Holy Ghost to the mind of God, they talk. If you allow me to say it like this, yes, this morning, they talk telekinetically on your behalf. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. That's why you don't have a situation that God can't have. Yes, yes. I mean, this is this for a mama. This is the worst thing that happens. You know, okay, yeah, you lose a husband, okay, all right, you know, we'll figure it out. You lose a house, okay, we'll figure it out. Lose a car, okay, we'll figure it out. Lights ain't on, we'll yeah, figure it out. Yeah, Water ain't yeah, on, we'll yeah. figure it out. Don't have no toys, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Don't have roof over our head of our own. We live in the yeah. post hotel in this place yeah. and that and that and yeah. earth. Oh, okay, yeah. but but don't take my children away. Oh, my yes, sir. Oh, my God. Yes, sir. And here she is. Thinking that she's about to lose her child, and she's at her lowest point. Yes. And God hears the boy. Yes. Yeah. And start the angel started talking to her. Hey, God heard what you said. God wanna tell you something. He said, Don't worry about the boy. Go get him. Take his hand. Take his hand. Go grab my hand. Get, get, your, get your child. Yeah. Get your child. Yeah. You know how we say get your child when we're doing yeah. too much. You need to get your child. Yeah. Get your child. Yeah. Yeah. Take him by the hand. And I will make of him a great nation. Yes. Now she didn't know that God had told Abraham that he was going uh, that he was going to make a great nation out of Ishmael. Mm -hmm. You read over on the scripture, you hear about all the great you know twelve tribes he had, and how they lived in you know these different castles and stuff or whatever. And you know Muslims claim Abraham is their father through uh, through Abraham. I mean through Abraham and Hagar as well. Right. And if you're going to claim that, you got to claim that you got African blood in you. Because oh they say right here, says the girl, she from Egypt. Yeah. You know, if you look, the word Abraham, I mean, you know, you know, we don't really talk yeah. about it. You know, the word yeah. means father of many, but the word ham itself is in there. Yeah. Who's a black man as well. If God changed your name from Abram to Abraham, yeah. God must have had some type of affinity for ham somewhere. Yeah. So that means, like we tell you, you weren't cursed. Say, oh, she's going to be pastor being deep. Lord, now they're Lord. trying to be deep. This madness is going on around the world. The people going to have to pay for it. They're going to have to pay mightily for it, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. God, like somebody say, God don't sleep. No. Amen. Mm -mm. That Bible say that the men's like say, we are black to the ground. Mm. All right. What you think that means? They look like you. Right. People of color, that's not what that means. So you you, you think that God ain't, ain't looking and booking on this? You, you think he pleased? And you right. made in his image mm -hmm. and his likeness? My Lord. Be like polished brown, hair like wool. Yeah. A lot of us grew wool back when they had a long time with it curly hair. <laughs> Amen. So 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 she 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 goes and gets her child. And she's like, and the Bible says, and God opened her eyes. Yes. What are you not seeing this morning that's oh, in your face? Oh, Lord. Mm. That's been there all the time. Mm. Oh, my Lord. So, let's get you here for a few moments. Pastor Shepard, let's get you here for Go a few ahead. moments. Like, like me and you at the table. Did she give up mm. without looking? Oh, Lord. Oh, God. And we done been there before. Yeah. Oh, God. You know, you, 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 what you have in hand runs out. Well, that must be the end of it, so we just gonna move on to the next thing. Mm. And we ain't judging no hey, why? Because we understand. Like I said, you get old, you understand a lot. Not saying that she did, but this is just for your thinking. Yeah. What is that you have gave up on that God gave you? Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Mm. Mm -mm. They ran out of bread and water. Didn't run out of life. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, pretty good, man. All right. I ain't hollering at you, but I'm preaching for preaching good. He, 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 he didn't lose life. I mean, because you, I mean, come on. And say you can go, what, three days without food? Three days without food? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And some even go longer, depending on how you fast and drink, you know, these other kind of things or whatever. You know, that varies as well. But yeah, you know, three days. But but she, it just in a state, I guess a state of shock, I guess. I don't know what to call it, but she, 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 she ready to throw in the towel. Yeah. She ain't praying now real proud. Maybe she ain't know the Lord, though. All right, all right. But like Founding Pastor Lake, everybody going to come to a point where there ain't nobody but you and God, and you going to have to fix it with him. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yes, 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me tell you something. What happened here? God opened her eyes, but she still had to get up off of herself. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. She still had to go to the well. She still had to take her picture. She still had to let the bucket down into the well, pull the water up, fill the vessel up, and get a boy drink. She couldn't just sit there. Yes, yes sir. How many of y'all out there sitting on what God gave you, sitting on what God told you to do? Oh, Lord. He didn't open your eyes and you see it. You saw it. You know where it's at. It's right there. It's been there all the time, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we doing, Pastor? Come on, Pastor. Come on, Pastor. Come on, Pastor. You know what I'm saying? You know. You know, things got funny, you know, you know, okay, well, take baby steps if you don't know everything. Yes, sir. You know, a piece of a step is better than no step. Amen. Right. Right. Why? Because you're still on your journey. And this is what Daddy told us, say, yeah, because I was a boy, say, God will give you more on your way <laughs> than he will before you get started. I mean, how many times have you started a project? You know, and I can just, I can talk about this, this even as, as recent as last night. Now, you know, I like music, so I pull music and stuff, and you know, all these different things. You know, this is one of my things there, because I always like music for most of my life, pulling music or whatever. And Daddy came over to help me with some other stuff on my computer last night. <laughs> and we both been working on one thing, but we learned about a whole nother thing huh. that I didn't even know I had that I'm actually paying money for, bro, Pastor. <laughs> that I could use to back up what I've been doing. But I didn't know that I had it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like that Ethiopian when he was reading the book. Yes, sir. And then Charity, he said, I'm reading it, and I, 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 I know the words that I'm reading. I, I, I can right. call the words, right. but I don't have no revelation. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yes, Philip sir. goes and joins himself and gets up into the chariot. Oh, and explains everything to him. He said, no, he said, well, how will I know that somebody died me? So he gets up into the chariot and tells him, no, this is about Jesus Christ. He, you know, he, he died and he buried and got up again. And you want to be accepted, you need to be baptized. There's some water right there. Can I be baptized right there? Please? Yes, sir. See, when you get revelation, it yes, don't matter sir. where you are. You'll start functioning and walking in it then. Yes, sir. And what's the revelation? The revelation that, that God will take care of your child. Yes, well, it's a sir. pandemic and I ain't working. Mm. Okay. Are you yes, still alive? Sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. See, I just heard God say, some of y'all, is some phone calls you need to make. Help oh, me on the Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. You wonder how you going to keep stuff on and you scared to call and talk to the people. Oh, Lord. I mean, if words come to work, they going to cut the lights off. Mm -hmm. So what you do when the lights off because the AC ain't going to work, you need to get as close as you can to the floor. Amen. All right. Amen. <laughs> now, see what I'm saying? See, see what I'm saying? We start living so good, we forget all this stuff that we used to have to do sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so you going to keep the devil in his teeth. So, all yeah. right, if, if they don't want to help me, if they don't want to work with my plan, We'll just sleep on the floor till the Lord send me the money. All right. Yeah. Don't let the devil punk you. No. All right. Well, okay. that's what I'm supposed to say. Ask the Lord what is it you're supposed to say when you talk to these people. That's Amen. It. That's it. You, I mean, y'all think the Lord can't talk? You think he can't give you the words to say? Mm. God will, the Bible says daily he loads us with benefits. Yeah. Some of y'all, y'all benefits sit on the dock every day because you'll never oh, back your truck up into where they at. Because they are with him, and you ain't going to get them without him. Ooh, that's my, good Lord. Right there. my Lord. Preach, Pastor. You, yeah, yeah. You, you, you have to find yourself yeah. when you put God in your mix. Yes, yeah. sir. See, when you, had, when you didn't have him, it was all you. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. But see, now your hand is forced. See, Hagar's hand was forced. Yeah. The well Lord. been there all the time. But God opened her eye, and I can understand that. I can't even give her a hard time, because sometimes you can't cry so hard when you can't see straight. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. And then, yeah. you know, when them big old tears come in, you know what I'm saying? You, I mean, you just can't see straight. Everything yeah, look, true. you see it through the water in your eyes, and you don't see clearly. And, oh, don't let it be some emotions wrapped up in that, oh, too. Oh, Lord. My God. This woman about to lose her natural mind. Lord, my baby, my baby, my baby. Y'all know how y'all get. Come on now. Don't play crazy. Don't, don't act like you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But God hears. Yes, sir. Yes, he does. Yes, sir. But, but you would think God would hear in the wilderness. Why wouldn't he hear in the wilderness? He'll talk to you in the wilderness. So why he not going to hear in the wilderness? Yes, what kind sir. of God is that? Yes, yes sir. Oh, pastor, I, 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 I'm placed in the middle of some stuff that I didn't want to be placed in. That's life. 
I mean, you know, just like the Lord give you more on your way than he do for you to start. You find out more mm -hmm. on your way than yes, when you get started. I didn't know he was this kind of fool. Oh, no. My oh, Lord. Lord. I didn't know she was this kind of fool. My Lord. Okay, the Lord knew. Yes. Mm -hmm. He know. He still knows how to help you. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Mm. That's what I'm saying. We... And you know, I, 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 I might as well mind, you know, that, you, and most of y'all like it too. You ain't got to admit it though, but I just ain't saying it. But you know, that, you know, we, we, we good tr tr trusting God in some areas. Old uh -huh. talk, Pastor Talk. In some areas. In, in some areas. Very few of us are good in all, you know. Maybe we grow in grace with others, but you know, some of them we just like, ah, you know. Yeah. Yes, sir. Talk, talk. I, you know, I, I, I got this one. <laughs> you know, we do them other, but you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's for whatever reason. It ain't no judgment. It's just life, man. I mean, I don't, I don't have nothing else to tell you. Explain it. I can't even, I ain't even seen it in the Bible before. But it's just what it is. Yes, yes sir. It is. Hmm. That's what I'm saying. But if you walk with the Lord. Yes, yeah. sir. And that's what we're always trying to get people to understand. Walk with the Lord. Don't just memorize the Bible just for memory's sake. Get to know Who's saying the things in there? Because if you just know the words and don't know the word, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's a problem because you just know a bunch of sentences. Yes, sir. This ain't Miriam's dictionary. This ain't Webster's dictionary. Mm -hmm. This ain't no collegiate Hart and Mifflin book. This is God's word. Yes, sir. It's <laughs> yes, still working right now. I told you this on the book and I've seen it. The Bible's old as Methuselah. Yeah. Mike can't even turn out all the pages good. Yeah. Some of the pages may be ate up. All right. But I ain't never seen a Bible burned up. Oh, wow. wow. I ain't seen it. Now, you, you, you can debate me. You can argue me with you, with me, you want to or whatever. I'm telling you what I've seen with my own eyes. And my own great-grandfather had five dad tunas. And they say one of the Bibles up there, just burned on the edge. And it's always this edge right here. I've noticed that. Pastor, I know this. It's always just this edge right here. We don't know that would be this one or this one or this right here. It's always this bottom right hand corner right here. And it just be kind of just ate up a little bit, but the words all still be right there. Yeah. Well, why, Pastor? The Bible says the word of our God will stand forever. Yes, but what are you going to stand on? God stands on himself. All other ground, it really is sinking sand. Yes, Lord. I want to encourage you this morning, Mom. Do, do, do like Hagar. What, what, what should I do since I'm getting this message this morning? What, what should I do? Do like Hagar. When God talks to you, do what he said. Yes, sir. Yes. And you'll find that he's the greatest friend of all. Thank yes. you, Lord. I mean, Ishmael grows up, the Bible says, to be a, 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 a good archer. That means he got good yeah. with a bow and arrow. Yeah. yeah. Right. And see, but you, you miss that, though. See, uh, and let, 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 let me explain to you what goes on there. He ain't had no man to teach him. All right, oh, all right, God. all right. Talk, Pastor. But Talk. can I tell you this morning that God can teach you yes, he himself how to do things that the person ain't there that's supposed to be there to teach yes. Yeah, you may be missing some people in your child's life, but God, but God. is able. Yes, sir. Yeah, you, you might not have some resources that you had once upon a time, but God, yes, sir. he's still able. Yes, sir. Able, I mean, do, do, you, do you understand that this, this boy, this, this color boy, he still got grown without his dad Abraham being yes. in the house. Yes. That's literally what that means. It was not ideal, it was not the best, but God told Abraham, man, set it right, go on, put him out. Yeah. Why? Because it was going to be a problem. Yeah. Come on now, you, see, it ain't, you have to be deep with that. You already know, any child that mistreat babies, all right, my Lord, there's something wrong with that. Mm -hmm. And there's something wrong with them. Mm -hmm. And you have to fix that early. Yeah. Right. And I ain't, I, 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 I'm talking about, you You know what I'm talking about. I ain't just talking about just picking on them, taking care of them. I'm talking about this mean to them and hate right. them for them yes. and can't stand them. And, you know, like they might would kill them if they had a chance. That kind of, yeah. But I want to tell you still this morning that God will protect them. Yes, yes will. sir. Yes, sir. God will keep them. Yes, he will. Well, Pastor, you know, I wish I'd have had them this way. Well, you didn't. So ain't nothing we can do about that and fix that now. Let That's that go. That's right. That's right. Look at yourself and say, Self! Uh, let that go. Let that go. Mm. Ooh, you, 
you know, God already forgave you. That's what I'm talking about. You, yeah, everybody ain't like God, you know, like he's a New York Stock Exchange or something, pal. Like, you know, everything ain't can't roll from the next day. God being forgave you and moved on. Yeah. And you still beating yourself over the head. Yes, sir. Right. Yes. Sir. And God be like, you still over there? Uh-huh. Oh, I thought we already dealt with that. <laughs> you already told, I mean, sometimes, like, you know, sometimes, you know, you, know, you, know, you go and stuff with a person. And, you know, you be like, well, man, you know what I'm sorry? He said, man, you already told him, I'm sorry. Yeah. We already made that right. We already fixed that. What are you talking about? Why are you still on that? We good. Yeah. You know, we boys, I ain't think like that. You know. Yes. But if you know the Lord, you have that same type of mentality and understanding. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you understand that, okay, many are the afflictions of the righteous, and some of them afflictions are self-inflicted. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Talk a while, Reverend Samson, yes. but in spite of that, God will keep us. Yes, sir. And yes, thankfully, sir. that's how you make it through the self-inflicted ones is because he kept you. Thank yes, you, sir. Lord. Thank you, Lord. And what because you so great, so wonderful, we so fine, and we so beautiful, hey, Mickey, no. It's because God loved us first. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you. Not second. He loved us first. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. So I want to encourage you on this morning. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> to keep your hand in God's hand. If you can keep your hand in his hand, he won't let yours go. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. That's good. If we get out of his hand, yes. if we get our hand out of his hand, it ain't because his grip fell. It's because we pulled it out. Yeah. All right. And somebody need to hear yeah. that this morning. Yes, sir. God, God, God does not lose people. No. But we Amen. lost such and such. No, they passed on. They they, they, they transitioned to, to, the, to be with God. They, they, they left him. We, they ain't lost we can't go to them. We ain't got a compass to get us exactly there. Ah, but we know where they at. God does not leave us destitute and homeless. Amen. No. Amen. No. Amen. No. Amen. A mother may forget her suckling child, but God said, I will never forget, I'll never forget you. What kind of picture is that? That Jesus walking around there 30 something years and he walked around and never seen it. Women forgot to give their babies bottles. What kind of stuff is that? But it still goes on today. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. If you did evil, though. Mm. Don't forget to feed your child. Oh, Ooh, Lord. Mm. If you've been evil, make sure them children have a good prison. Yeah. And what little that you have. Yeah. You better hear this preacher this morning. Yes, if you be been evil, yes, sir. know how to look out and pray for your children. And you don't have all the education in the world. You can't read that good. Yeah. But the Spirit of God tell you when your child do something wrong when they work. That ain't right. And you tell them, go back and fix that. And that's all you got. You don't think God will take care of you too? Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Let your heart be lifted up this morning. Oh, yes. And remember that in spite of you being at your end, in spite of you feeling like you're at your destitute last, God still has, still has. for you. Yes. The, somebody needs to say, the well is right there. The well is right there. Open your eyes. Ooh, open your eyes. Yes, sir. Right she there. ain't had to dig no well. Mm. And a lot of times, you know, traditions say the well would only be open certain parts of the day to do certain things because, you know, dust would be high and these type of kind of thing. But she needed water right then. Yes. Go ahead and tell her, oh, well, baby, you got to wait till everybody else show up when they're going to come and feed the flock stuff. Then you could go and open it up. She, she said the well would be open her eyes. She saw the well. She went over to it. Mm-hmm. They got the water there. Thank you. Her and her child needed it. And you need refreshing this morning. I hear you. Thank you. Amen. Because it's a lot. Mm. The road is rough and the hills are hard to climb. It, 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 this is that time. Oh my God. But can I tell you, baby, that God still has you? Thank yes. you, Lord. Yes. In the palm of his hand. Yes. And he knows yes. what's going on. Thank you, Lord. And he still perfects Thank you, Lord. Everything, everything that concerns us. Yes. Hallelujah. How does he do that? I don't always know how God does what he does. But I, can I tell you that he has a good hand? Yes, sir. Ooh, that's good right there. That's good. I'm actually yes, hollering when I say that, that. That God has a, a good hand. Yes, yes. And his hands are still healing hands. They're still miracle working hands. They still can split rocks. They still can open heaven. They still mm, can part the Red thank Sea. They can still tell the east wind to blow. Do you understand? Yes, they still can flip your problems upside down. His hands can still reach out and snatch your child. Do you hear the man of God this morning? Yes, sir. So I want to leave with that old saying this morning. 
Give it to Jesus. Give it to Jesus. Why, Pastor? Because you tried all you know to do. Yeah. Yes, sir. You've done everything humanly possible. Mm. Yes, sir. And, 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 and you may have thrown your child away. Do you see in this text that we read this morning where God fussed at Hagar for throwing that baby away? No, I did. And somebody just bothered somebody with me saying it like that, but that's how it really went down. Yeah. That's what's really in there. Okay. But God ain't God ain't changed no words with about it. No. Nope. God showed her how to fix it. Yes, yeah, sir. And he provided the solution. By opening her eyes. All God did was talk to her and open her eyes. That's it. That's really all he did in the text. That's really all God did. He, you know, the Bible said, God, you know, told you, look, the boy going to be a great age. Go get the boy. Grab him by his hand. And God opened her eyes and she saw him well. Yes, sir. Mm. And it happened. It came to pass. Just like he got grown. He wandered in the wilderness of Peru. So he liked being in the woods all the time, being country. That's what it was. <laughs> yes, sir. Him and his bows and arrows. And so yes, much sir. so that his mama had to go find him a wife because he ain't want to find his own. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> That's my first interpretation. Yes. <laughs> but child of God, this Mother's Day 2020, when everything in the world is upside down. My Lord. When everything in the world is going plum crazy. Mm. Yeah. When 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 resources are far and seemingly few in between. I want to encourage you to call on Jesus. Yes, sir. Yeah. Like the song says, he'll be there. Yes, he sir. Will. What do you mean he'll be there? He, he will be there. Because sometimes you just need some company. Help me hold on. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, with, sir. With, with what you're dealing with so you know that you're not by yourself. Yes, yes sir. You know, this good grown folk preaching right here that, that you you need to know that God is concerned. Yeah. And he can. And he really does. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, You be encouraged on this morning, child of God. Praise God. And know that God is on your side. Yeah. And things are working out. Yes, yes. Well, you're good. For you and your family. How many of y'all glad that God is smiling on you? Yes, sir. And yes. He said you're free. Yes.
Gracious Heavenly Father, God in heaven, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your preached word. Yes, we thank you, God, for these your people who have received your word. Now, God, we thank you for every person saved, set free, spiritually healed, and delivered, and unto your Lord, unto your church this morning. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I agree with that prayer. I said amen. 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 I have a few appeals I'd like to make to you. The first appeal is for you to receive Jesus Christ as your Savior. You can be saved. And know it. The Bible says, John 3, 16, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him, they will not perish, but they will have everlasting life. So if you say, yes, that's me. I desire to be saved. We're going to pray a prayer together just a few moments. That will take care of the confessing part. But the Bible says, With the heart man believe, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So maybe you're already saved, but... If you have been talking to God, have been reading your Bible, have been praying, and things of that nature with God that you do to keep your relationship with God fresh and new. But you can fix that this morning. So we say, yes, that's me. I desire to be saved this morning. Or if you say, I desire to rededicate my life back to God. I ask you to read this prayer, this prayer after me. It's a simple prayer. The prayer says, dear God, dear God I know without Jesus, I, know without Jesus, I am lost. I, am lost. I thank you, God, thank you, God. for sending your son Jesus to Christ. To die on the cross for my sins and getting him up again for my justification and so I'll have the right to the tree of life. Jesus Christ, wash me, make me clean, make me whole, cleanse me of my sins. You are my Savior, you are my Lord, you are my King. I want to serve you the balance of my days. Jesus Christ, Jesus you are my Savior. You are my Savior. Thank, you Thank you for saving me, for saving me. In, Jesus Christ, man. in Jesus Christ's name. Now, if you pray that prayer and you want to receive more information about being saved, I simply ask that if you're there on social media, either YouTube or Facebook there, if you just uh, you can inbox us your email address and we'll send you more information about Salvation and some scriptures about the assurance of your salvation if you rededicate your life back to God or gave your life back to God. Also, if you'd like to commit to membership, we're still taking members, even though you're not able to physically attend, we're still taking people as members. So if you'd like to commit to membership and go to the Triangle Christian Fellowship Church, just ask you leave a comment there uh, in the comment boxes and inboxes, or you can go to our website, www.gtcfc.org. And you can email us uh, the address, the email address listed there saying that you would like more information about being a member of Golden Triangle Christian Fellowship Church. My dad and I, we love to be your pastor. We love to see overcome, you overcoming your challenges and circumstances and slaying the Goliaths in your life and being yeah. victorious and participating in the vision that God has given our founding pastor. And we build Godly generations with the word of faith. So if you do either of those things, we would greatly appreciate it. If you decide you want to commit to membership, we welcome you to go to Triangle Christian Fellowship Church. We're excited Amen. about your growth Amen. in the things of God. We're excited about you being saved. If you got saved, if you uh, rededicated your life back to God, welcome home. Amen. Because the best place Amen. to have all of us to be is with the family of God and with Jesus the Christ because he is our Savior. So once again, we thank you for viewing us here on Facebook and on the conference call as well. At this time, we're prepared to take the Lord's Holy Communion. Amen. And when the time came for the feast of the Passover, Jesus' and disciples came unto the master. Okay, all right. All right. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Our founding pastor is coming. Amen. At this time. Amen. Amen. Glory be to the Lord Jesus Christ. The pastor stated it. Same day when our Lord Jesus was taken of the Paschal Feast, told the disciples, Go into the city, there shall meet you a man bearing a pitcher of water, follow him. When you shall come into the house, say to the good man of the house, Where is the guest chamber? I'm sure your Lord have a room already furnished and prepared there, make ready. But at that Paschal Feast, where our Lord instituted the Lord's Supper, we celebrated today the Holy Communion. The Lord Jesus took bread and he blessed it and said, take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. 
the same manner he took the cup and he blessed it. He said, take, drink ye all of it. This is the New Testament of my blood. It is shed for the remission of sin. And Jesus told him of things that should befall him, how he should be scourged and finally crucified. He told him the hand of him who betrays me is on the table with me. And he was identified. Jesus gave him a sock. And Satan entered into him immediately, the Bible says. And Jesus said to him, that that you do, do it quickly. And he went out into the night. The other disciples, supposing that he was going to purchase a vendor for the poor. But he also carried the bag, meaning he was the treasurer of Jesus' ministry. But he was going to betray our Lord for 30 pieces of silver, price of a slave. But our Lord Jesus determined to die. The lamb that was slain before the foundation of the world, Jesus the Christ himself, said, no man takes my life. I lay it down, I can pick it up again. As Jonah was in the bed of the well for three days and three nights, the Son of Man should be in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights, but I'll rise again. Hallelujah. So they did try Jesus. They tried him all night long. He was found innocent, yet he was sentenced to death. Tried on a misdemeanor of impersonating a king, but he was sentenced to die as a criminal. So they crucified him on the cross. They put him on the cross early, our time, 9 o'clock in the morning. Beat up the Via de la Rosa, the road to Calvary. And there, he was crucified from 9 o'clock in the morning to 3 o'clock in the evening, our time. And he did die. He said, it is finished. He said, Father, to your hands I commend my spirit. He was laid in Joseph's borrowed tomb. It's there three days and three nights, the Bible declares. But early Sunday morning, he arose from the grave. Yes. Without power, yes. heaven and earth in his hand. And when he went away after being seen by above 500 men and women, he went away on a cloud. Mm. And the angels pronounced to those who were watching him go away, say, this same Jesus who you see go away, in like manner, he shall return. And the word to the church today is, be ready when he comes. Yes, yes. All who have the bread and remembrance of our Lord Jesus the Christ, by his stripes we are healed. Let's take the bread. Amen. Oh, we have the cup. The remembrance of our Lord Jesus the Christ without the shedding of blood. Now, here is no remission for sin. You may take the cup. Praise the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Sweetest name I know. Hallelujah. I'm happy that he died in our place. Thank but you, I expect Lord. to see him any day now. Yes. But Jesus is coming soon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor. Wonderful message this morning. Amen. Praise the Amen. Lord. Amen. Message to mothers. Now, beloved, it's time to receive our tithes and offerings and gifts of love. I want to personally apologize to those who have attempted to uh, do your giving on and on your mobile devices uh, through our website. You had problems trying to give, and I apologize for that. That problem has been corrected. So if you care to give through the title app, go to ggcfc.org and uh, click on the giving page on the menu. Click on giving page. Go down to the button that says give. And that app will open for you. Thank you so much. Amen. We're leaving Facebook.